Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank and a stunning turn of events. It is raining in England despite the recent woes of the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. We are still well ensconced atop League One. And the Swoodly Poopers are wearing blue because I'm going to force them to wear the blue of shame until they can they finally score a freaking goal and win a game. I don't think we've both scored and won in like six games. It's totally unacceptable. Things are a little bit better. We really had it out as a team. We There was some crying. I cried. You could tell how frustrated I was after the last game. But also, uh, Lira Williamson and we call him Bob cried together, which was very moving. Um, I don't want to get too much into it. Maybe I'll talk about it at a different time. It was special, and I'm really hoping that we see the results of it on the pitch today. I believe that we can have a better team than the team we've been playing. But we will be playing in the blue of shame until and unless... Our form improves. Um, that's not a very promising start. So um, I'm going to talk today about a subject that's a little bit controversial, but it's near and dear to my personal heart, which is do I think that straight people should be allowed to get married to each other? Um, now, I certainly understand the arguments against straight marriage that it might, you know, harm or otherwise make awkward, um, you know, marriage between... Uh, homosexual couples, or that, you know, putting putting two people of, of different sexes into the same household uh, might just make for trouble. But um, I, I think that it can work sometimes. Um, and in general, my feeling is that I should be allowed to marry um, the person I want to marry, as long as that person also wants to marry me. The only real impediment to me getting married should be the person I want to marry not wanting to marry me. Get in the net! Oh, that would have been the best goal in the history of Swindon Town. Oh, he actually had to make a save there. All right, ball John Green. Why don't you just get it to Fitzhall, and then he's going to put it in the net, and everything will be right again in the world. Oh, clear off the line! That would have been the greatest goal in the history of Swindon. But no, instead it's not. But I like the way we're playing a little bit better. Um, I, uh... I understand that the failure rate for straight marriages is, is extremely high, higher than um, most studies say that it, it likely is for uh, homosexual marriages. But I still think, or same-sex marriages, I should say. But I still think, um, I still think it should be legal. I think it should be my choice. Um, I also think it's weird uh, in in a culture that really celebrates civil liberties not to empower. Oh! Ho, ho! Oh, we're getting closer, friends. Don Caster is about to be Don Castered. You can just tell the Swoodly Poopers are back a little bit. Not all the way back, maybe. But you can tell that the focus and the energy of the team is where it needs to be. Oh, no. Just as I said that. Fitz Hall! Mmm. Um, anyway, I was talking about this to Ball John Green and other John Green because they were laughing about the, uh, the, whole, the whole question. And they were, like, um, they were like, well, what if your marriage was illegal? Uh, skip. They call me Skip sometimes. Only I, I ask them to, and then they usually don't. But sometimes they do. Um, and I, th I thought about it. It's a weird, 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 what a, that's a foul in the box! Mm, mm, I don't like that. That was bad. You're a naughty little tackler. I'm going to run a circle around you. Um, I just don't think it's... Uh, yeah. But it is, it is, I mean, it is an interesting, it is an interesting th thing to think about. Uh, what if my marriage were, were illegal? Um, the, the, the reason I find it most interesting is because, of course, my marriage would still... That's, that is a foul. Yes, I should, I should be getting. This is my specialty. How good am I at free kicks? Rhetorical question. I'm so good. Oh! oh that's, that's the closest I've ever gotten. So, I feel like I should get a cookie. Um, yeah, I... Uh, the thing is, if my marriage were illegal, it would still be a marriage. It just would not be a marriage that enjoys all the rights and responsibilities of um, uh, that 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 are associated with marriage civically. And I don't mean I don't mean that religiously. Like I think religious organizations should be allowed to ban whatever kind of marriages they want to ban. Like they should be allowed to ban straight marriage. They should be allowed to ban same-sex marriage. They sh you know whatever. Because if you you know like a, if you don't if if a religious organization doesn't think that a marriage is like sacredly just, then, you know, that's fine. Uh, but, but in terms of our, our civic, um, you know, the civic duties of marriage, things like, uh, you know, the sharing of property, the, 
the share, shared responsibilities around children, things like that. Like those are sort of um, the, the when you take away um, the the access to that, um, when you take away the right to it, um, you don't really take away marriage. All you do is you take away the um, the ability of a person to like live their marriage well, and that's really ah oh! ah. Oh! It's really problematic. Sorry, Meredith. Meredith had to adjust her headphones there because I was screaming. Um, because that's when, um, that's when in the end, you, you, what you're, you're actually saying to someone is that, like, that they're less human by virtue of the uh, individual that they chose to marry and that they don't deserve to have all the other things that other regular, quote-unquote, regular humans have. And um, I wouldn't want to be, yeah, I wouldn't want to have that. Wow, I mean, that could have been the greatest goal in Swindon history. I wouldn't, but can we see, this was, this is it, this is, oh, we didn't see the bicycle kick. That was close again. We're close, we just gotta find a way, we gotta find a way in. This game may need some Leroy Williamson. Um, but that's when it becomes so, so problematic, because um, it, it, is, it is dehumanizing not to have all of the rights associated with personhood. And marriage is a huge one. I mean, you don't, like, people who aren't married likely don't understand or, or in, you know, yeah, I'm gonna say, oh, who aren't in a marriage don't understand necessarily all of the ways in which it becomes sort of the defining um, relationship of your life, but it really, really does. I mean, it is kind of what you, you know, it is the most important thing that, that you are. Um, and the, the, the rights of marriage that I take for granted, the ability to, for instance, have my wife, um, you know, Visit me in the hospital, the ability to share the property that we own, the ability for her to automatically inherit my stuff if I die. Like, all of that, all of those things um, are really central to what makes our marriage work and what makes it successful and what makes it, like, e I don't want to say easy because, you know, it's not easy necessarily, but what, it's, what, it's what makes it, like, yeah, function. Um, and you take that stuff away, and you still have a marriage. You just have a marriage that's sort of, like, discriminated against. That's no good. It's, but you know what is good? You know what is good? You know what is good? Is a breakaway! No! How do I score on those breakaways? Can somebody give me some he a heads up? Because I'm getting so good with the Y button, but I'm not a... Other John Green just hasn't been much of a finisher lately. To be fair, no one on the Swoodley Poopers has. I think our last goal was scored by We Call Him Bob 73 games ago. Oh... So, yes, lots of people ask me to talk about same-sex marriage. I think straight marriage should be legal, and I also think same-sex marriage should be legal. I don't really see, again, in terms of, like, civic, uh, in terms of a civic legal question, I don't really see the other argument. Um, it's pretty well established that it's not a destabilizing factor for a social order, and that's the only reason that you would want to, uh, to make something illegal. Uh, it just seems like quite a lot of... Yeah, unnecessary. Oh, oh, oh. Finish! Someone! Someone put the ball in the freaking net! Someone! Who will be the hero? This is getting ridiculous. Maybe we'll never score again, Meredith. Maybe this is a permanent situation. Maybe the Swoodly Poopers will just be forever blue. Wh what, what is going on? What, what is happening? One size fits all? I'm sorry. Are you busy? Do you have, did you have, a, do you have a previous engagement? There we go. Out of the back. Like we like to do it. Wide. Not necessarily that wide. <sighs> we Call Him Bob is coming out. He is being replaced by Bo Stock. Leroy Williamson and Andy Rooney are coming on as our new striking partnership. And they are going to find a goal. Nothing personal, Ball John Green, another John Green. But my goodness... The two of you couldn't find the back of the net if it was stapled to my face. Ah, uh, come on, boys. We can do this. There we go. There we go. It's an odd pass. It's not necessarily what I wanted, but it works. Leroy Williamson's in the box. Why don't you... No! I'm sorry, was I not clear? Don't pass into the other guy's head. Pass to Leroy Williamson's foot. Mmm. 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 Merrick, Merrick is tired. And Leroy Williamson just ran right past the ball like it's FIFA 11 again. Oh, no! Everything's fine. Why don't you guys freak out? This is just a little bit of the post. You know, the post is our friend. 
Oh, oh, green eggs and Fodringham. This is terrible. I've got to hit the X button. All right. All right. How do you win a game? Only hitting the A button and the B button. The John Green story. Um, okay. This is winnable. Oh, come on! Andy Rooney. Are we really going to have another nil-nil draw? I mean, maybe we're just going to... Maybe maybe this would be poop. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought, what? What is happening? I apologize to my friends and family and my, all the supporters. This is truly, truly ridiculous at this point. I mean, it's truly... It's an embarrassment. There's no other word for it. Like, it's one of the great embarrassments uh, of the 21st century. I would... I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I've, never, I've never felt this way. I feel naked in front of the supporters. I just feel like I, 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 the extent, and we just had this big emotional moment in the locker room before the game, and now I know that they're just going to start crapping on each other again. And Totally legal tackle. <sighs> and it's just really, really frustrating. What, what is wrong with you? Do you have a headache? Is your belly hurt? What is the possible problem that made it impossible for you to go for that pass? Oh, for the love of God! This is a reprehensible performance. I believe in our last seven games we've lost them a total of like six to two. I don't even know what to say. The first half had some promise, but they're just now they're gonna just they're gonna go into the locker room and they're gonna be in an incredibly bad mood. And it's just gonna be it's gonna be very it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be a dark, dark, sad, depressing, miserable locker room. Maybe we can get a goal just to like make our make us feel a little better? No, how about not? How about we not get a goal? One size fits all got his head on the ball. Usually that's a recipe for a goal, but this time Oh, I hate myself. Best wish. You oh, we won. We won League One. Congratulations to the Swood. Wait. Wait, did we win? Why are they celebrating? What is Doncaster celebrating? Did we lose League One just now? Meredith. Weren't we ahead by like eight points? I don't. I'm very confused. Why is the red and white confetti falling upon Doncaster? And they're out there congratulating their fat old coach. That should be me you're congratulating. I won League One. Didn't I? Didn't I? Hold on. Let me just find out for sure. What, what possible competition did Doncaster just win? Doncaster. Pulled themselves right into title contention. Well, I don't... Well, I, I know that your feelings are hurt, Shepard Ferry. I, I, I will play you in the next game, but I'm a little... Con I'm a little let me just hold on a second here. Yeah, we've got green and green there at the top of the goal scoring, although God knows neither of them have scored in forever. And then we've got green on top of assists, as well as green down there just below him in fifth. And then there's some League One results. But I don't understand. There... I think there's only, I don't, why did the red and white confetti fall? Whatever. This is a stupid game and I hate it. Best wishes.